Hello everyone, my name is Joey here for DFB, and today we're going to be talking about 20 Disney snacks that you have to try in 2017. First up is the Ohana Bread Pudding. This is newly available as a single serve option at Tambu Lounge, without having to pay for a full dinner at Ohana. This is pineapple bread pudding that's topped with ice cream and covered in caramel sauce, and we gotta say, this is one of our favorites. And like I said, you can also get this at Ohana, it only comes in kind of a family size portion for dessert, but you'll need an advanced dining reservation. Next up is the Cinnamon Loaf at Kringla Bakery or Cafe. So when you have the words cinnamon and loaf in the same sentence, it warrants a look. We suggest you ask for your portion to be served warm, and it also comes with optional candied pecans that add a little crunch to this gigantic pastry. And you want to come prepared for this one for sure, it's definitely big enough to share. You've also got to try the Whoopie Pies, which are available at Sweet Spells, Landscape of Flavors, and Everything Pop. These are the new cupcakes. Seriously, over the past six months we've seen an explosion in the availability of these mini sweet snacks, consisting of two cake-like cookies, sandwiching a frosting filling, and topped with, you guessed it, more frosting. You can find a King version replacing the famous King Cupcake and sporting peanut butter, chocolate, and bacon flavors at Pop Century, and a Carrot Cake version at Art of Animation. Next up, we want to look at the Peanut Butter Pie, available at Contempo Cafe in Disney's Contemporary Resort. In this one, the peanut butter cream cheese filling is surrounded by a soft, cookie-like crust. This rich, salty, sweet, and delicious treat is one of our new must-eat items on every Disney trip. Next up is the Spiky Pineapple, available at Tiki Terrace in Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. The Spiky Pineapple is rum blended with pineapple soft serve, which, if you're not familiar with it, that's Dole Whip. It's cold and refreshing, it's yummy, it's whimsical. Well done, Tiki Terrace. You've got to make sure that you try the classic poutine, available at the Daily Poutine in Disney Springs. This is a famous Canadian dish of thick-cut fries, topped with white cheddar cheese curds and beef poutine gravy. They've also got a few twists on the traditional version as well. Next up are the hard floats and shakes at Beaches and Cream. Hard floats are definitely a for adults only treat that are popping up in just about every corner of Disney World these days, primarily featuring ice cream poured over with hard root beer or soda. But Beaches and Cream is where we recommend getting yours, as this old fashioned ice cream parlor features more unique offerings like the Grasshopper Float, which is Guinness Stout with mint chocolate chip ice cream, among others, including an alcoholic version of the super popular Frozen Sunshine. Next up, you have to have the fresh cut fries with dipping sauces at Deluxe Burger in Disney Springs. I mean, sure, fries can sound pretty run of the mill until you taste the golden, freshly cut fries dipped in your choice of house made dipping sauces. Choices include garlic ranch, horseradish, chipotle mayo, three mustard and honey, buffalo blue cheese, and curry ketchup. Or you could just try them all. Now, if you make your way through Disney Springs, you have to try the tray of floats from the Coca-Cola Orlando Store rooftop bar. For those of you who love Club Cool in Epcot, it just got multiplied probably like a thousand fold in the Coca-Cola Orlando Store. At the rooftop bar, you can indulge in trays of sample sized drinks, including a float tray, which is just what it sounds like. It's eight mini ice cream floats made with different Coca-Cola brand flavors. Next up, we wanted to show off the loaded Plaza fries from the Plaza restaurant in Magic Kingdom. If the return of Figaro fries meant anything to you, then you'll definitely want to make the jaunt to this Magic Kingdom table service eatery. For those that are not familiar with them, the Figaro fries were a much loved and missed snack that disappeared from Magic Kingdom several years ago, made of fresh fries topped with plastic cheese, ranch dressing, tomatoes, lettuce, and bacon. Nowadays, the Plaza's got them, just under a new name. Next up, if you haven't had it, you've got to make sure to try the Dole Whip Pineapple Soft Serve. This one's available at Aloha Isle in Magic Kingdom, Pineapple Lanai in Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Tamu Tamu Refreshments in Animal Kingdom, Marketplace Snacks in Disney Springs, and Promenade Refreshments in Epcot during special festivals. The cult favorite Pineapple Soft Serve treat is a must try for any Disney visitor. You can swirl it with vanilla at Pineapple Lanai, or just get it as a float with pineapple juice. Now next up is the Donut Sundae at Plaza Ice Cream Parlor in Magic Kingdom. Does placing ice cream on top of a warm glazed donut make it breakfast appropriate? <laughs> we sure think so, and the Donut Sundae, which is also complete with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, chocolate and peanut butter chips, cherries, and warm apple compote, is only available until 11am as a part of Magic Kingdom's new breakfast offerings, so make sure to set that alarm clock because you definitely don't want to miss out on this one. Next up is the Maple Popcorn from Frontierland Popcorn Cart in Magic Kingdom. The Maple Pop 
popcorn is currently only available at Frontierland Popcorn Cart, and it's the first flavored fresh popcorn option that we've seen outside of the gourmet flavors available in Epcot's Future World. We think these are really great, and we'd love to see a trend of additional flavors around the world. If you haven't had it, you've got to try the Beignet Sunday at Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory in Port Orleans Resort in the French Quarter. Made to order beignets? Good. Ice cream? Also good. Caramel or chocolate sauce? Definitely good. Put them all together and oh man. That's right, you can now take your beignet love to the next level by getting this unique to Port Orleans French Quarter dessert. We also wanted to show off the Caramel Drizzled Rice Krispie Treat from Caramel Coucher in Epcot. We were super excited to find this one. It's a classic Rice Krispie Treat drizzled in that incredible Werther's Caramel at Germany's Caramel Coucher. If you're a Rice Krispie Treat fan, this one is for you. You gotta make sure to try the Citrus Swirl at Sunshine Tree Terrace in Magic Kingdom. This is a classic snack experience that you have to take part in. This frozen orange juice and vanilla soft serve is another cult classic available in the Magic Kingdom. We've also got the Salted Caramel Cornflake Cookie and Cap'n Crunch Ice Cream Sandwich from Sprinkles Cupcakes in Disney Springs. This one, well, the name says it all. These are two of the best cookies that we've ever eaten, accompanied by some of the best ice cream ever. You can, of course, choose your own flavors, but we'd highly recommend this one. Oh, and don't forget to get the Frosting Shots at Sprinkles. That's right, Frosting Shots. Totally worth it. You've also got to try the amazing French fries with pulled pork and cheese from Flame Tree Barbecue in Animal Kingdom. Okay, so take a pile of French fries and top them with the same charred pork that Flame Tree is famous for. Then add some plastic cheese, barbecue sauce, and a few diced peppers, and you've got a side item that's much closer to being a tasty small entree. Seriously, these are really good. And in Disney Springs, make sure to try the pimento grilled cheese from Planet Hollywood Observatory. There's literally no other reason to go to this restaurant except to get this grilled cheese sandwich. So I totally understand if you want to skip it, but if you find a reason to go here, you must, must, must order this. It's a triple stacked grilled cheese sandwich, which features amazing pimento cheese, six cheese mac and cheese, and cheddar. Pretty epic. And finally, you've got to try the secret Nachos Rio Grande experience. We covered this one in another video, but it was such a cool experience that we had to talk about it here too. There's a lot of hoopla that accompanies ordering the Nachos Rio Grande at Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe in Magic Kingdom's Frontierland. To get the Nachos Rio Grande, you need to arrive between 3 and 6 p.m. and let a cast member know that you'd like to order the secret nachos. We quickly found out that the nachos serve 6 to 8 people or more, and the order brings with it a whole VIP experience at Pecos Bills. After you order and pay the $90 price tag for the nachos, the cast members all don their special cowboy hats, and they escort you back to a reserved table set with pioneer-style tin plates and checkered napkins. All in all, definitely a really cool experience. So that's just about it for this one. We want to know from you what items you feel everybody has to try this year. Make sure to head down to that comment section and let us know what you think. Now if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave us a like, and definitely consider subscribing for more content like this. Once again, for DFB, my name's Joey, and we'll see you in the next video.